Once again, it's a pleasure to be able to share a message with you from this week's parsha, Parshat Vayakel and Pekude. And this brings to a conclusion the book of Exodus, the book of Shemot. When I was younger, one of the important lessons that I was taught by my father is to never give up. That if the score is lopsided against you and there's just a few minutes left to the game, don't give up. Continue to work your hardest and maybe something will change. Remember, sometimes I'd want to walk off the court and he'd say, never give up, keep trying. And so I learned uh, very early on in my life that sometimes it's not the brilliance of the athlete, but it's his capacity to push forward and to continue to try uh, that makes the difference between those who are great and those who aren't. This week's Parsha has a wonderful message for us. And if you can read it through the lens of the Kli Yakar, we can begin to understand the true message of the wilderness experience. You see, what will happen at the end of the Torah, at the end of the five books of Moses, is that the Jewish people will still not have arrived in their homeland, in their promised land. We still won't have fulfilled the dream of living in the state of Israel at the conclusion of the five books of Moses. And so the message must therefore be that the important thing in life is to continue to try, to put forth your best effort, even if you never realize your dreams. The idea that to have a dream is important, to hold on to that dream is critical. And some people would even go so far as to say to realize a dream would sometimes be a disappointment and that the dream is therefore more important than the reality. I'm not sure, but I am confident that if we continue to work towards achieving our dreams, we'll have assistance along the way. There is this great statement near the end of Kudai by the Kliyakar, in which he points out that the word established, to create, to generate, is a word that has been used a number of times in this parsha. In fact, he says the word hakama, to establish, has been used three times. Twice with regards to the Mishkan, once with regards to the job that Moses was trying to accomplish. And then he says the most beautiful thing. He says, Amar HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Oseik Ata Behakamato Vehu Omeid Me'alav. That when you try to do something, when you try to achieve something, then God stands by your side. Remez L'chol HaMasim Asher Adam Oseh. Ki Ketzara Yad HaAdam Lashlimam. Hachal V'gomer El HaAdam Hu Matchil. V'Hashem Yigmor Al Yado. And that if you try, says the Kliyakar, then you will achieve what you want to because God helps you. I'm reading a fantastic book, once again, called The Alchemist. I think it's been translated into thousands of languages the world over because of its important message. And embedded in that message is the statement over and over again that when you dream a dream and that when you try to achieve something great, your personal legend the author refers, then the universe conspires for your success. Says this great book and the Kliyakar side by side that if we have belief and faith, not in God, but in ourselves and in our dreams and in our desire for something great to come from us, then God stands at the ready to assist us. May your dreams be forever vivid. May you remember them, and may you always be reminded to continue to work towards them. Because if you do, you'll have an able partner in God. Have a wonderful week. Mm -hmm.